In the early days of September 1066, King Harold of Norway traveled overseas to Northumbria with one thing on his mind, war. He met up with Tosti Godwinson and they decided to join forces. Utanway at Sannefeltan. Where is Ure Kuning? Harold, King of England, was absent during the fight because by the time he heard about the Norwegian invasion, he had no chance to arrive there on time. Wala wa, who you limp this? They fought at Fulford on the 20th of September and crushed the English forces of Edwin and Morcar. The earls begged for mercy and then fled the battle. And thus the Battle of Fulford was decided in favour of the Norwegians. Harold rushed to Tadcaster, about seven miles west from the Norwegian fleet, and arrived there exhausted on the 24th of September. He was able to surprise the Norwegians with his army because there were no scouts placed in or near York. Harold surprised the Norwegians and a long and dreadful battle followed. While the Norwegians were dying defending the bridge, a small group of around 20 English horsemen rode up to Tosti. They offered him a third of the English kingdom in exchange for peace. However, Tosti was too proud and declined the offer. Thus, the battle continued. The Norwegians held off the English soldiers using a shield wall. They foolishly decided to break up the wall in order to fight, which caused the death of many men. Among the fallen soldiers was Harold of Norway, who was shot in his throat by an arrow. Tosti tried to create another shield wall, but it failed. Harold offered peace to his brother once more, but Tosti was still too proud to accept. His stubbornness led to his death. Despite the Norwegian reinforcements, King Harold was victorious, but his victory came at a cost. Many men died that day. Harold's troubles did not end here. News was brought to him that William, Duke of Normandy, had come to Pevensey and built a castle near Hastings. Harold assembled an army as quickly as possible. Time was, once again, not on his side, and he had to rush to battle before his army was complete. He fought William on the 14th of October. Many English soldiers deserted him, but Harold continued to fight bravely. But alas, his bravery could not save him. He died, along with his brothers and almost all the nobility of England, and the English were defeated. The archbishops Eildred and Edgar and the earls Edwin and Morcar submitted to William. On Christmas Day, 1066, William the Conqueror was crowned King of England. Ho ho!